this problem, we start out with a tank containing liquid and vapor, and then we're going to add steam that has quality at a higher pressure. I'm going to continue to add it until pressure equalizes at 2.3 bar. And the question we're trying to determine is how much mass do we have added to get to equal pressure, and then how much liquid water do we have at the end of the process. So in part one, I derived these equations. This is the it's just a mass balance, how much mass we start with. We calculate that. I'll do that from the information given. How much mass we add. This is one of our unknowns. And then we can get the total mass. So we can think of mass 2 as an unknown, or we can make a substitution in the equations and just use mass n as an unknown. The other unknown is the final quality. What fraction by mass of the final water in the tank is vapor? We know all the rest, so what we have in this energy balance is our final quality times the internal energy per kilogram of vapor, one minus that final quality internal energy liquid. We started with mass liquid that we can calculate, and so we look up the internal energy at 75 degrees saturation conditions to get U1 liquid. Likewise for U1 vapor, and then the mass in, that's one of our unknowns. And the quality N is given as 0.91, and we can look at these enthalpies also in the steam tables. We can look up this last equation, the final specific volume. So we know the conditions, 2.3 bars. So we know these values in the steam tables are unknown is X2. So X2 is, appears in two of these equations. So we're going to solve these equations simultaneously. Okay, so first let's calculate how much liquid we have, how many kilograms. So we have 220 liters of liquid. We can go to the steam tables at 75 degrees saturation conditions. Look up the specific volume. And that value, 0 0.001026 cubic meters per kilogram. So we have to do a units conversion of 10 to the third liters is a cubic meter. And that gives us... 214.4 kilograms of liquid at the start. Well, the total volume, if we want to get now the vapor, the total volume is 65 cubic meters. And we can subtract the volume of liquid, which 220 liters is 0 0.220 cubic meters. Okay, so that's the total volume of vapor. And if we again go to the steam tables that 75 degrees, specific volume, 4.129 cubic meters per kilogram. This is cubic meters. And we end up with 15.7 kilograms of vapor. So those are the values we're going to use. This is mass one of the vapor. This is mass one of the liquid. Use those in the steam tables. So value mass one, total mass is just 15.7 plus 214.4. Now, all we have to do is look up all the other values in the steam tables, and we're going to solve for the final quality, the final mass, and therefore also the mass that flows into the system. So to make this easier, less chance of making a mistake, I just put all the values into a spreadsheet. Let me just show you these values. You can see then how I got the answer. Well, the spreadsheet I used is on the Learn Chemie site. Here's the link. The final answer, we had 91.3 kilograms of steam into the tank. And finally, we end up with 238 kilograms of liquid in the tank at 2.3 bar. So the spreadsheet that I used is here, and this is also located on the Learn Chemi website, where I've tried to indicate the symbols that I've used, which are similar to what I just explained in the equations. All the yellow values are values from the steam tables at saturation conditions. The specific volumes at the starting temperature, 75 degrees. The likewise internal energy, 75. The enthalpy in, which is calculated from these two specific enthalpies. And the quality is at 2.3 bar. And then the final conditions of volumes, internal energy, also at 2.3 bar, since that's a final pressure in the system. And then we, I end up solving these equations by calculating two sides of the energy balance. One, the initial internal energy total, U1 total. And then the final internal energy, which is the initial internal energy, plus the mass 
flowing in times that enthalpy per kilogram. So that's essentially you two total the right side of the equation and the energy balance. The left side then is in terms of the quality and the specific internal energies at 2.3 bar. The quality of course is unknown when we start. It's one of the things we're solving for. And so quality, I use Q here, Q final for the quality. I just calculate, I want to make these two numbers in the boxes equal. And I just use solver. I took the difference, which is the orange box. And I use solver to adjust mass in and final quality, quality two. And you can see the difference is extremely small. So very quickly, solver found the solution 91 0.3 kilograms and the quality 0.259. Once we have that quality, of course, we can calculate the final mass of the liquid, and that's the 238 that I've shown here. So you can look at the spreadsheet to show more details. The equations are, are written here on the right, and we're able to determine by adding steam, solving this one steady state energy balance, and using the fact that the specific volume cannot change to determine the two unknowns, the mass and that quality.